empty, and the second normal tube causes an empty mass. So without having realized the first normal tube and the second normal tube, impossible to practice in such medication. So we here teach first anapana to all the beginning. And then ten casino and eight attainments. And then we teach not yet supernatural power, but to know and see ultimate mentality and activity, which are the first noble truth. But I will not teach any traditions, but I will teach the way the Buddha taught. To make all of you understand clearly, let me explain a little bit more. So we taught three trainings, the training of morality, the training of concentration, and the training of insight. You know what is the training of morality? For all the training of concentration, you need to know that the Buddha taught 40 kinds of meditation objects, and among 40, 30 leads to absorption, and the, the rest comes to excess concentration. For about the serenity practitioners, they must first develop absorption and concentration. After that, they need to continue the training of insights. When the Buddha talk about training, how many meditation objects the Buddha taught? Maturity meditation, mentality meditation. Okay. When the Buddha taught Rupa meditation, the Buddha taught proper means meditation and brief or detailed methods. So, after having developed absorption and concentration, the serenity practitioners need to continue for any means meditation to know and see the ultimate material. So when they practice foreign means meditation after having developed an amana function. Finally they can break the body down into very tiny small particles. And they need to analyze ultimate materiality exists in each particle. After that, they need to continue ultimate. They need to continue mentality meditation to know and see ultimate mentality. Then we continue teaching meditators to know and see causes and effects. At that time, they are ready to proceed in science meditation. Okay, this is not a tradition. This is the way of I do. That's why those who could practice, they appreciate very much. Oh, now we are practicing what the body side might practice, what the Buddha had practiced, what many of his disciples have practiced. Not part of methods. If you Emulate the way the body has to practice for its enlightenment. It is also possible for you to practice here and to teach you that.
today, I would like to explain about dependent origination. 오늘은 연기에 대해서 말씀을 드리겠습니다. One day, when the river and the was practicing in, and the owner forest, together with our lot photo. One day, Sunny always in this way. Even the origination products are very clear to his mind. He approached to the Buddha in the evening. Then he informed, informed to the Buddha, and then, the meaning origination is actually very deep and profound. However, it is very clear to my mind. In this way, he informed to the Buddha. At the day, Buddha says to the Pinarava another, you should not tell like that, you should not tell like that. It does not mean that the most honorable Buddha of the Vedra, Eva Mila Vajra, Tandra Kula Gacha, Kula Gandhi Gacha, Bhoja Pabaja Buddha, Abhaya Dhakade, Hunipada, Sasara, Nati Buddha, do you understand? Yes, sir. Maybe I recite this sutra because this is not my original speech. This is original speech, is Buddha's teaching. I must do explain in this way. What is the meaning? Ananda, because of not understanding by direct knowledge, this dependent origination. And because of not penetrating by different stages of direct knowledge, this dependent origination, all these, these beings are not escaped from the round of rebirth. Um. They cannot escape from the whole sex. Couldn't this sutra, especially with Sajin Mata and the Samoha Vinodani commentary, explains. So the meaning is, Samadhi is like a stone. Upon this stone, you must sharpen your wisdom like. Wisdom? Like. What is the meaning? Concentrated mind is the proximal cause of wisdom faculty. If there is no concentration, wisdom faculty cannot work. It is passion. For example, now please pay attention to your body. Can you see clubbers? 자, 예를 들면 여러분 몸에 주먹을 해 보십시오. 갈라파를 볼수 있나요? 그렇지? 보여요? No, because you have no concentration. But concentrated mind can see this calabas as well as can analyze those calabas and can see adimate materiality as well as adimate mentality and as well as their causes that is dependent or generation. What are Maybe they translate very closely subatomic particles. These clubbers are not ultimate materiality. This is the smallest group of materiality. As soon as you see space, then you can see clubbers. You must practice four elements meditation if you want to see this space element. What are four elements? Earth element, water element, fire element, and wind element. If you practice four elements meditation systematically, when your concentration deep becomes deep enough, you can see transparent body like ice block because you cannot see space element. If you do not see space element, you cannot break down the competence. 
If you cannot break down the coconuts, you cannot see Kalapa. At that time, Buddha teach to see space. That concentrate that my own the four elements object also produce a strong, powerful light. That light is called the light of wisdom. With the system of the light of wisdom, if you penetrate to see space element, after that you can see space. As soon as you see space, then you can see clouds. If you see four elements in each clapper, this is the last stage of Samatha. Last stage of Samatha as well as the beginning stage of Vipassana. Because of this reason, this four elements meditation is both side, Samatha and Vipassana. If you get these four elements in each particular, each Samatha, then you should continue to do them. Color, odor, flavor, nutritive, essence, electricality, transparency, etc. You can easily get this and these derivative materialities. Order this agasa to space element. For clear understanding of these derivative materialities. In some clubs, there are ten types of materiality such as earth element, water element, fire element, wind element, color, odor, flavor, nutritive essence, like fragility, and eye transparency. In the same way, we should understand ear transparency, nose transparency, tongue transparency, and body transparency. Why they are called transparency? Here, Kadi, in Chakwita, Rupa Dina Gahana Bhavina, Rupa Dina Gahana Vichya Bhavina, Ada Sattala Viya Vipasana Dhapasada Rupa. This is the definition given in Visodhi Maka, a part of verification. I will explain the meaning. There are five transparent Rupas, materialities. So if there is no eye transparency, eye consciousness cannot arise. If eye consciousness cannot arise, then one cannot see color. In the same way, other transparencies are also you should understand in the same way. If there is body transparency, body consciousness arises depending on body transparency. Body, body consciousness can be tangible object. In some clubs, there are in the same way, ten types of materiality, but they are not transparent. They are open clubs. There are two important materialities, self-determining materiality and heart base. Heart base is main base for mind consciousness. That heart base arises depending on inside your heart. There is blood. Depending on that blood, this heart base arises. So all together, there are different types of derivative materialities. If you can analyze these clubs in this way, at that time only you can understand ultimate materiality. But nowadays there are many scientists, they do not understand about these clubs completely. What is the reason? In their laboratory, they can test only temperature bone materiality. According to Buddha's teaching, this room, if we Divide these rupas, there are four groups. Number one is Kama bone materiality. Number two is mind bone materiality. Number three is temperature bone materiality. Number four is nutrient bone materiality. Kama is connected with previous Kama, not present Kama. Present Kama is if there is any future existence, this is the cause for future material, future fight aggregates only. So, to understand this is karma bone materiality, we must try to get some fight pass causes. But these fight pass causes I will explain later. Every consciousness. 
which rise to be the own heart paste, can produce my bone material. So without understanding heart paste, without understanding my consciousness which rise to be the own heart paste, you cannot discern my bone material. Yeah, please try to see. Oh, penny sage. Which produce this penny? Which produce this sage? You are mine. That mine is rice to be the own your heart piece. That mine produce uncountable my bone kalapa. These kalapas spread throughout the body. Up to this end, they also spread. So, if you analyze these kalapas, in each kalapa there are eight types of materiality. Among these eight, there is wet element. That wet element again produces bodily indignation. Because of this bodily indignation, new new kalapas always rising and passing away. These new kalapas, they cannot rise same place, in the same place. They rise in different place. That different place rising is, you may see this is Bene Sajay. But if you see Kalapas, you cannot see this Panga. You can see only Kalapas. These Kalapas, there are eight types. Among eight types, there is bodily animation. That bodily, because of this bodily animation, the whole all robust, they do not rise in the same place. If you do not see this process, then we can say you do not understand my poor materiality. Here is also another consciousness. Here, I consciousness. That I consciousness cannot produce I poor materiality. In the same way, ear consciousness also cannot produce ear bone, cannot produce mind bone materiality. Those consciousness also cannot produce mind bone materiality. Tongue consciousness also cannot produce mind bone materiality. Body consciousness also cannot produce mind bone materiality. In the same way, you are praying. I want to tell about this. If you can discern four elements in your brain, you can see brain is nothing but a group of clubbers. Among those clubbers, one clubber is body jacket clubber. In that body jacket clubber, there is body transparency. To be there in body transparency, body consciousness can rise. Body consciousness knows only tangible object. That body consciousness also cannot produce viable materiality. Depending on that body transparency in your brain, there are eight types of mentality including body consciousness. Among, I will calculate, I will calculate this thing <laughs> because I have something to tell about yes. this problem. Mm -hmm. Number one, consciousness. Mm -hmm. Number two, Number three, feeling. Mm. This is neutral feeling. Mm. Then number four is perception. Yes. Number five is collision. Yes. Number six is one pointedness. Number seven. Uh, number seven is light faculty. Mm. Number eight is Attention. So all together, eight types of, eight types of mentality is on. Among these eight types, there is no wisdom faculty. Wisdom faculty has to be the on your heart based on according to Buddha's teaching. But you can get some practically. So now we have explained karma bone materiality, number two, my bone materiality, and now number three, temperature bone materiality. What is temperature? In your eye, there is eye target clapper together with eye transparency. 
If you analyze there are 10 types of materiality, among 10 types there is fire element. That fire element can produce 4 or 5 generation nuclear parts. This is temperature bomb materiality. In the same way, in your mind bone clapper, there, if you analyze my, your mind bone clapper, there are, in each clapper, there are eight types of materiality. But this mind power is very different. Ordinary mind, such as now you are talk, you are listening, or I am talking, such type of mind, listening mind, that fire element can produce two or three generations only. However, if your mind is like Chana mind or Vipassana mind, that mind has certain power. That mind can produce uncountable millions of kalapas. Now many meditators, they can see like here, 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 etc. But what is that like? This is the light of Western. So how this arises? Hmm? You are discerning your breath or you are concentrating on your breath object or you are concentrating on your nimitta, anabana nimitta. If you can concentrate well and if your concentration also becomes deeper and deeper, and then that, that concentrated mind associates with wisdom authority. That wisdom have the power. When this wisdom faculty's power is very strong and powerful, then that mind can produce jhana mind, especially jhana mind, can produce strong powerful lights, not only internally but also externally. This can kind of spread throughout the body. Among those, this one, Analyze those clubbers. In each clubber, there are eight types of materiality. Among eight types, there is color. That color begins luminous and bright. Again, if you analyze those clubbers, in each clubber, there are eight types of materiality. Among eight types, there is fire element. That fire element is called temperature. That temperature also produces uncountable many, many millions of clappers. Okay, if you analyze these clappers, in each clapper they are also in the same way eight types of materiality. Among eight types there is color. That color also luminous and bright. This temperature burn light not only internally but also up to externally spread. So internal light is both Two, two main two types. Two types is my bone calabas color as well as temperature bone calabas color. Two types of calabas color. But externally there is only temperature bone calabas color only. To build on concentration, wisdom pergalogy's power is very strong. When concentration is very deep, wisdom pergalogy power also very great. When wisdom, the power of wisdom faculty is very great, then the light of wisdom is very bright. So, scientists, they do not understand this process of mind bone materiality as well as temperature bone materiality. Karma bone materiality has only internally, not externally. Mind bone materiality also rise only internally, not externally. Why they do not rise in external in any way? As soon as they rise, this club has mind bone materiality as well as karma bone materiality. As soon as they rise, they pass very very quickly. There is no time to carry from this body to laboratory. Their lifespan is only 70 mind bone body. Very short. Their light span is very short. So they cannot carry up to laboratory. Now every day we are eating. Food is inside our stomach. If a meditator gains this,